this is all came out of here. Honestly. It came out of where? Out of this. Corner. Wow. Really, if it just opens up one person's mind, just one person's mind to the idea of caring about their community or caring about the environment or wanting to make the world a better place, then that's really all that matters. Alright guys, it has been one heck of a day. I'm Matthew Steven and I'm the founder of the Just One Bag Project. Well, uh, it was kind of by accident really. I went to this place that, that uh, my roommate would go walk her dogs all the time and I was just walking the trail. and. What was crazy about it is I just started to notice like things that I just hadn't noticed before because normally I would be walking with her and she'd be walking her dog and so we would just be chatting and I started to see all of this trash. You know, and it's a beautiful part of, of Colorado and and I just thought like, man, you know, why not why not pick it up? So I went back to my car and I looked at my car and inevitably I, all I could find was was just bags from the grocery store. And so I'm like, well, these will do. And I just went and I started with one bag and one bag turned into two bags and three and four and I ended up cleaning the whole trail that day. Of course, I've got my trusty cohort, sidekick, sidekick uh, partner in do-gooding because hey, we're just a bunch of do-gooders around here. Matt is a friend of mine and he asked me to help him pick up some trash. Do I think we're doing it enough? I think we're making a start. But I think if you see trash on the street the way we see it on the street, I don't think that enough is being done, no. Humans don't care to change their situation until after the price that's been paid is too high. It's only then, it's only then after the scale has been tipped that they choose to, that they choose to do something about it. And so for those people, maybe that day will come, I don't know. It's not important to me because I'm here to do what I'm here to do. Everybody has the right to choose, you know. That's why I start here. That's why I start here with just the litter, just on the streets, because like, People's levels of awareness are all over the place, you know, and the level at which people choose to care is all over the place. And that's why I'm starting with litter, is because that's something that almost everyone can agree, I don't want to see that. Like parks are great. I love doing parks because of the fact that it's, uh, it's, it's already a place that's designated, it's supposed to be you know, a beautiful place in nature that we can go and enjoy. And, and it's really the biggest shame whenever we see, you know, these untouched wide open spaces just littered with trash. Kind of makes me feel sick. It's dirty. It's a pretty, it's a pretty straightforward reflection. I think it looks nasty, it's dirty, it's gross, it's rude, it's, uh, it's inconsiderate. And I think all those feelings represent, I mean, that, that's how I feel when I see it immediately. So, yeah. so then I guess that we got to take that and think of what the opposite is and be the opposite. First step is awareness and care and consideration. And then secondly, we just change our habits, which is very simple. Understanding that every single thing that I do affects the, literally the entire planet. Well, my friend <clears throat> bugged me, which is important because that means that somebody out there cares and that's what it takes sometimes, other influences. So my friend, Matthew Steven, uh, encouraged me to do this as well, but that's the power of one person. 
really like the motivation behind it was I was just asking myself, I had no one to give a gift to. I had um, no one to give me a gift. And so I was really just thinking about like what it is that I'm thankful for. Like what, what, what is it that I'm thankful for? Why, why am I thankful for it? And, and, and the earth really is the biggest thing, you know, cause like the earth is the, is, is what, it's the biggest giver of all. It, it, it gives without question, you know, like we can take and it still gives, you know, and um, yeah. And so I just wanted, I wanted to give back to the planet because of all it's given to me. I mean, first off, I would say it starts with education. Like everything starts with education. It starts with, especially if you're, you know, if you're a family unit and things like that, just leading by example. You know, if you've got children and you see a piece of trash, if you pick up that piece of trash while they're there, you know, they'll see that, you know? That really, like, this is something that would be extremely beneficial to um, take as a message to, like, say, elementary schools. Because, I mean, that's where it started with me. I think that we can teach our children to not be litter bugs and teach them to kind of be humble and, you know, maybe go out and pick up a, a bag of trash and kind of show a, a neighborly gesture, you know? Maybe parenting is step one. I, I don't know. Our influences, people simply caring about the environment and make, and, 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 and sharing their and sharing that. I think probably honestly parenting is the very first thing. It's like how we're raised, how trash affects the environment, you know, and, and if we just dump it, what actually happens? And then having encouragement and information to do that. On Christmas day, we had already celebrated with all the rest of our family, so we didn't need to be there. And I wanted to celebrate Christmas with Matt, my friend, and he told me about the Just One Bag project. And there's just such joy. There's such joy to see kids picking up trash and knowing that it's the right thing to do. You know, like when we, as we get older, we just start to think that, you know, oh, well, that's just the way it is. Or what can I do? Tell that to a kid, Pfft, right? What do you mean that's just the way it is? No, I'll show you here. No, I'm Superman. I'll, I'll jump off of this couch. And that's why they do things that are just absolutely fearless and crazy in the eyes of adults. It's because like adults choose to put themselves in, in the box of that's just the way it is. And it doesn't have to be that way. I'm not able to count how many times that I've been out doing cleanups where somebody will stop and they'll, they'll say thank you, you know, or they won't even say thank you, they'll just start picking up trash. They won't even, they won't even think, they won't hesitate, they just start to pick up trash. It's good is contagious. Some people don't care, but then you have other people that want to make a difference. You know, maybe, maybe if you know that I picked up your trash, maybe next time you won't do it. Like on Christmas Day when we picked up trash, People drive by and see all the, I think we had 25 bags of trash that day. Um, lots of people came by. They, they liked seeing it for sure. When you can see all that trash that you pick up, um, it makes you think. Definitely. A lot of times I'll just be bike riding and I'll keep a bag with me, or I won't even have to keep a bag. Uh, I come across what I refer to as urban tumbleweeds, which are just plastic bags that are caught by the wind and they just make their way, make their way down the street. And so it could, be, it could be spur of the moment. Like last week I was just walking to the gas station, saw a bag on the ground, made a bag, just like that. You, you need very simple things, you know, uh, gloves, bags, that's the absolute bare minimum. Or uh, alcohol related. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, we find you a lot of these. Honestly, I had fun and it was very easy. And it's like, if I picked up one bag, if I did that every day, it's a, it's a very simple task. It takes a few minutes. And in any location I stop at, it's a very, very simple. It makes a big difference and it was fun.
you know, but still you're taking that little five, ten minutes and saying, hey, you know, maybe I'll change somebody's view of things. Change your surroundings. You want to know how easy it is? Set a stop, a stopwatch. It took me five minutes and 14 seconds to fill a bag. But this is how Matt used his superpower to move other people to action. Well, I think that it starts with being humane. You know, look at it. You know, it's like, what are we? Well, we're human beings, not human doings. Like, even though I'm doing this, even though I'm choosing to pick up trash and stuff like that, that's not me, you know? It's, 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 it's the beingness that comes from behind it. It's like, what is my why? With the cleanups, it's more than just a cleanup, it's also a social experiment in as much as really I want to find the root of the cause behind why there's litter in the first place. Because I'm not interested in, in, in the doing, I'm interested in the why. Matt had me come to Cherokee Street and we were trying to recruit other people and I did, I did recruit somebody. And I'm like, here, have a donut, have some cookies, have some coffee, and help us. We're making this place beautiful for you. This is your home too. How do you Just One Bag? Well, the best thing about Just One Bag is it literally can be done anywhere. And so uh, it starts, again, with the premise of everybody has grocery bags from someplace, the Quickie Mart, from the grocery store, where have you. You probably have some in your car right now. Stop along your commute. Pull over someplace. If you've seen trash there before and you know it's gonna be there, just pull over on your way to work or on the way home from work or during your errands or what have you and then just fill one bag. And so after you've gone and you've filled your bag, you tie your bag up in a little bow and everything, you make it look pretty and you hold it up and then you give your, your, your best cheese face and you just take a selfie with your bag. All right? Then what you do after you've taken your, your picture with the bag, you go to Just One Bag Project on Facebook. Or I guess technically anything with a hashtag Just One Bag should show up with the hashtag. And so that's the most important thing. So you can put it on Instagram, you can put it on any social site that you can post on. However, definitely post it on the Facebook page because that's, the, that's where everybody else is going to be sharing it too. And say, hey, this is what I found or where I was at. You can share part of your experience, maybe how you felt while you were picking up the trash and just hashtag it, just one bag. And then if you want to take it a step further, just one bag challenge and share it with your friends, as many as you want and just challenge them. Just be like, hey, I came across this really cool concept. It doesn't take long, just a couple minutes of your day and it can make a big difference. You know, because each one of those bags with the hashtag goes towards the tally of removing a million bags of, of, of litter out of our communities. At the moment, uh, in terms of participation that I've had at cleanups and then individual posts with, with bags, it's probably around, probably around 200 people. Uh, right now it's a drop in the bucket. I would say it's probably, it's probably like, like maybe, maybe a couple thousand bags. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's many, we could go beyond that, obviously, people who care can, could do a lot and really push these ideas to the world in many regards. He put a lot of energy into mm -hmm. this idea, and that energy was powerful enough to, to create the action that he wanted. Mm -hmm. So he put his energy into it and it works. It's like if anyone, if anyone um, wants to reach the masses, we have to, we have to simply take action and Matthew is doing that. So, what is the next step for the Just One Bag project? Kick an ass. <laughs> Here's the haul. Uh, we got our recycling separated, and we're going to be tallying up how many bottles and cans and things like that we've got. And the work isn't done. We've got stuff like this around, and so you know it's kind of crazy. That's how it happens. However, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, forty-three.
just something that you want the world to know about the Just One Back project? That I'm not able to do it alone. I'm not able to do it alone. 